Okay, I'm going to try adding more to my framed house. Welcome, welcome to my ASMR channel. <laughs> I'm going to duplicate this because uh, I don't want... I'm going to duplicate it because if I mess up or add something and go too far and I want to revert back to a previous version, a simpler version, I can't. So I'll call this Framing a House Part 2. Uh, hyphen part two. Okay. So here's my idea so far. I want to fix the rafters. So I'm going to actually drop this uh, work plane right here so that the work plane is right at this level right here. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to go out to the side here and drag and drop a rectangular shape about that long i think i want it to be three tall because i think my dimensions that i'm my pretend dimensions for this pretend house is i want to make my um boards like one by three <clears throat> whoops did that just Okay, no, that's fine. All right, so all I need to do is make sure it's the full length now. So let me zoom in. <coughs> so that looks like it's at the correct position. And then this one, could I have gotten lucky? Almost. So I was off by just a touch here. I'll zoom in. And I don't want to grab a corner. If I grab a corner, it's going to... Um, it could change the one or the three. I want to grab right there. I, I move my mouse until I see the very middle turns red. Or it was a second ago. There. I'm going to drag that out. Okay, let's see if that lines up. Yeah, that looks perfect. So now that it is the right length and it's one by three, I'm going to click on it and go right arrow. Nope. Undo up arrow until it scoots up underneath there the way it would if it was actually a piece of wood that supported the rafters. Right now I'm going to hit control D and arrow key over that way. And I want to stop right below the eave. And I think I'll hold control up arrow. See where it lines up. And that does look like it lines up correctly. So I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit control D again so it copies that. Oh wait a minute. I think it just created one up in the sky. Yeah. See it. It's repeating my pattern. I started here and then I went here and now it's putting it up in the sky. So I'm going to just hit D and it'll drop down. And let's see if it drops down in the right position. Yep, pretty good. Lucky me. All right, so now that's done. It seems like it would be time to do... Let's see, how do I want to go about this? I want to build... A board going straight up to support this and what would be the best way to do that if I hit control D and then just hit B it, it'll drop it and I guess I, I could do that and then I could go um, three oops say three and do it re enter Nope, not going to do it. Um, oh, I need to hit that there. So now it's really short, and I just need to arrow key it over so it's sitting on that board. And then I need to make it taller. And there we go. Now I hit Control D, and it will copy that. And I will then 
arrow key it over. Oh, it looks like what did it do there? That's not that's not what I wanted. I don't know what that is. Delete. I want to copy this, so I'm gonna click this and hit control D. And hopefully it'll just be a copy of it inside itself. Yes. I'm going to hold shift while it arrow keys over. I'm going to hit F and it'll take me over that way. Um, then I'm going to keep going and let me turn my head so I can see where it's going. I'll keep hitting, um, right arrow. Got a menu. It's the wrong way. Now up is working. Okay. So now I'll hit F so it zooms me over and I just need to be able to see where it's at with respect to that. And now it looks like it's in the right spot and it matches up there. Good. So from here we can make the um, diagonal stuff and we'll do that in the next video.